Welcome back. Let's play Stitch. Experience 626. Stitch is getting very impatient and wants to destroy things. So let's work towards that. I only have two guns? I do. I'll not mind if we went rate of fire a little bit. Hello. I like doing stitchy things, though. The crawl control is really... What? I I picked up... Okay. Apparently I picked up a reel. Don't know why or how. The crawling controls in this game are really good, I think. Which strongly contrasts the game's camera. It's kind of odd. I actually expect the crawling controls would be a little bit more annoying. Since you have to go with orientations not always being what you want or expect them to be. Since you kind of go upside down and sideways and all that sometimes. But see, that works pretty well. Like, I don't think there's a problem there. Camera, on the other hand, though, shoot. Ah. Trying to get to look where you need to look at any point is proving to be very difficult. No, oh, I think I'm getting better at it. Yay. Still no idea what those do. Other than the very vague notion of unlocking secret things. Of some sort or another. Hello. Why do you have to run so far away? This is one of those weird games where you move faster when you're in the air. Feels like it might be. Come on. What are you doing running around the same area for? This isn't even challenging. There we go. Yeah, at least give me an extra gun or something. That would actually be a nice reward to get. Okay. At least this game has the lock on it has. That's actually pretty useful, authentically speaking. I feel like I just want to destroy you. Awesome. Do I want to free these little guys? And they're trying to get them free. I think my guns cannot destroy. That's very unfortunate, actually. Pipe. What? How's there nothing in there? Like, that's the optimum hiding place for something. There you go. Only one. I expected something better. Yeah, though. I guess this guy's just kind of stuck in there. Whatever. No, well, in that case. You've gotten all the DNA in this area. Oh, wow. Really? Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, 100% in that level. Cool. And I can actually tell you the total out of everything in the game. I actually collected everything. So I know there are 18 levels now, it seems like. Just judging from the idea of every single level having 50 of those DNA. Oh, wow, World 2 already? I didn't, I didn't say I wanted World 2. Why World 2? I have multiple things unlocked in World 2, but why World 2? There are still more things to do in World 1, aren't they? Oh no, there are only two levels there, actually. Okay, whatever. Oh, that's where it is. Secrets. Okay, so it's literally... a trailer. Okay, so I don't know what these things are. The trailer, I'm assuming, is for the film? Yeah, no. <laughs> so it sounds like that's... <laughs> I just want to see like one quick second of it to see if it's from the film. It's just good. It is. Buy this. See what it is. Is it all just me from the movie? Yeah. Okay. So then I'm not gonna want to get any of these or show any of these in game. Buy. Buy it. Because it looks like these are all gonna be from the movie, which I, for one, I don't care about anyways. I can I can watch this movie on my own time. But secondly, I can't show it on YouTube, so... In any case... How are we doing episode time? We have about 10 minutes left in this episode. Alright. So we have lots of levels in this particular world. Cutscene! Awesome. We do have a story. Who are you? You're kinda nice looking, actually. Oh, a prototype of 626, six, I suppose. <laughs> Oh, 
who's superior now? Probably the one who can actually talk, now that I think about it. Which would mean not Stitch. Whatever. Oh, it's Hamster Veal. So, Chumba has arrived. Excellent. All is going according to plan. He'll try to send some feeble mutant after me, of course. You must find this mutant and deal with him. <laughs> it's not quite the voice I remember for Hamster Veal. Is there any reason for that being there for what I remember? But then again, it's been so, so many years since I've heard that dude's voice. At least I recognize him. Actually, I wouldn't recognize him at all. Hi. If it wasn't for, uh... If it wasn't for... Oh, I'm sure Havoc. Most likely. Whatever. A gas processing facility. Interesting. See if you can find your way to the exterior so I can examine the atmosphere. Wait, are you implying I somehow got into this... Into this... area without actually... Being on the outside at all? Does it work? React positively with six to six, trying to avoid this. Okay. Unfavorable reactions. Anyway, so I didn't recognize that character, that Stitch-esque character, as being from the show at least. But I also don't remember like anything from the show. So I don't like. There's a six two five at some point. I know that, but I don't think that was it. Actually, wait. I can't remember. Was... Oh, what's his... What even was his name? Ah, I'm trying to remember his name. When 626 concentrates completely, time will seem to slow. This could be useful. Yeah, see, I know that, but wh why would I want to do that? I can't, he has a nickname. I don't know what it is. I can't remember if he's 625 or 627. I think it's 627. The guy with Gantu. Ah... Uh, he had some kind of sandwich related nickname, didn't he? I saw something back there. There's more Danny over here, too. Okay. But that's not what I was trying to do at all, but okay. Yes, there's something over there. I want it, whatever it is. I guess that right here might not be the best angle of approach for that, though. Can I do that? Nope! Awesome. In that case, I guess I'll climb up here first. Go from here. Stop spawning enemies. Ah, uh, see, it looked like I had a gun. But I can't take that gun. It disappoints me greatly. Why does it rotate so slowly? It makes rotating a lot more difficult because the way to rotate the camera is to rotate Stitch himself. Uh, which, which up do I want? I have multiple ups. New music. Thus far we've had different music for every level, that's kind of nice. Some of it has been reasonably nice music too. I see Squiddy. Let's go Squiddy. Squiddy. Yeah, I... Kind of... I and mean, I had every reason to expect it, but I kind of called him when I said... Where did that guy even go? Ah! That those guys would get really annoying to follow later in the game. Okay, come on guys, go away. Oh, it's those dudes! Yeah. Yeah, yeah I heard someone talking. I wasn't quite sure who or what it was. It's those dudes. I don't quite remember who or what they are. Are they affiliated with the, uh... Ah, uh, who was it? I don't remember enough of anything about Lilo and Stitch, okay? Am I done yet? Please. Where'd you go? Ah! Back off, dude. Thank 
you. I, he actually did drop a gun I could use. Look at that. My dreams have come true. But, come on, I want to pick up this... Why are this guy's dropping... Well, why do I want to do that? Because it's fun fa uh, chasing these guys around. That's why. Like, I actually like chasing these guys around and having to overcome their little challenges. That's why I do it. There you go. And I don't actually tend to do anything about these things until I figure out what they actually do. Since I don't want clips from the film. Okay. Now, where do I want to go from here? Are there are more things I want to destroy. I think there are some things I want to shoot somewhere. Also, I don't remember... Any dialogue... Oh, no, it's just telling me about the slowdown, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Oh, hey! More! Hello. Back off. That hurt a little bit. Four weapons, which is cool, but I'd also like to know... Not die. Health? Not quite. DNA's cool. Not what I need right now. Okay. Difficult jumps. Well, the biggest challenge with these guys is actually just knowing where they go each time. This is how difficult it can be to get the camera to do what you want it to do. Ah! Seriously? That was really close. Okay, come on. Undo this. There we go. Where did he run off at that time? Oh, he just ran right up there. Darn it. Okay. One more go. Ah. Uh, it's not pleasant when... The camera is not agreeing with you. That's not good. I don't know if I can reach if I do that. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. So I have to get up to that other part, though, really quickly. I don't know if there is a good way to do that, other than... Well, I got up here. That's not all where I was trying to go. It's freaking camera, dude. Having to center the camera to get to where I want to go is not ideal. Well, I'm healed. I have all my guns back, too. Awesome. I was wondering if I'd lose all my guns if I died or something. I do not. That's nice. So still kind of yet to encounter a reason to not die in this game. Oh, that was not, not good. Whatever. If I do become too frustrated with any of these or think they're wasting too much time, I can easily just skip one. But right now, at least, I feel they're just fun. Then gives me points towards completion in this game, which isn't really worth anything. I don't think. I doubt it, but if I can do it, I might as well. Ah! See, I just need to get past that one last part. Then I think I'll be good. I can do all the rest. Just getting up there. I don't think... I think I have to take this route. Well, last time I tried to take the other route, it didn't quite work out. There we go. Ta-da. Okay. Now I can feel good about ourselves. And in the spirit of feeling good, actually, I'll say we can end off this episode with a high note and say, I'll be that for this episode. Let's play... Stitch experience 626. More gun. Can't even hold more gun. It's gonna be nice having such a wonderful rate of fire. But anyways, I'll have to see you guys next time's episode of Let's Play Stitch Experience 626, where we destroy more things, as always.
kind of seems to be the idea. But hey, we got to see story this episode too, so things are going to progress as we go on. So, we have motivation. Yes, Stitch is very excited. Let's keep going. So let's go. Next time. Bye, guys.